Thank you. We now move to topical questions. Darren Henry. Topical one, Madam Deputy Speaker. Madam Deputy Speaker, we are delivering the largest ever expansion of childcare in England's history, which begins rolling out in just three weeks' time from the 1st of April. We have done this before, when we more than doubled the entitlements of the last Labour government, and I am delighted to update the House that our latest projections show more than 150,000 new funded places will be secured by early April. We expect that number to grow further throughout the months ahead, saving parents over £550 million in childcare costs. April is just the first phase. From September, parents with children from nine months until they start school will be able to benefit from this support. Only the Conservatives have a plan for hard-working parents, which they can rely on as they grow their families. Labour have no plan, so why don't they support ours to give families the certainty they deserve? And Henry. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I recently visited Fairfield Spencer Academy in my Broxtow constituency, where I met with Craig Jones, doing good work with the Junior Adventures Group, a leading provider of school-age childcare. During my visit, I was able to observe staff as they provided crucial support to children beyond regular school hours. However, it is evident that this level of support is not consistent around the country and the school-aged childcare sector needs reforms in terms of funding. I welcome the £289 million for the wraparound care sector, but can my right honourable friend commit to introduce a universal funding model linked to parent earnings similar to that of early years, which would allow for providers to remain affordable and sustainable? I thank my honourable friend for his questions. We're making wraparound childcare available for all parents who need it and supporting hard-working parents to balance having a family and a successful career. Our £289 million investment, as mentioned, will help schools develop exciting programmes before and after school, which will provide more flexibility for working parents. And I'm sure the Minister for Children, Families and Wellbeing will be happy to meet with him to keep him updated on progress. <laughs> 